Good afternoon. Uh, wanted to talk about the, uh, the uh, Paul, Seller, Paul Sellers router plane. I just finished the basic construction of it. It needs some refinement, as you could probably tell. But I wanted to talk about just a couple of things, really. If, if you're planning on making this project, two things that are really new. Uh, first thing was the body. It took me about, now I used a drill press. I, didn't, I didn't, didn't do it by hand. But it took me about, I'm going to say, an hour and 45 minutes to get the, the plain body and cut, drilled out, and to get this, if you, if you want to call it the frog of the plane, um, milled up. Now, I, I, to, for this, I used a plane I rarely, as in almost never use. Forgive me here, I'm trying to move. Should have got this out first. I use a strut plane. Uh, my wife purchased this for, for me for Christmas. Uh, a few years back and it was one of those things sorry it was one of those things that we don't you know, try not to make too big a deal about Christmas as adults so at the time these were inexpensive planes uh, God knows what they're running now but so I asked her for it and I got it and I think I might I may have used it not counting yesterday, maybe a half a dozen times. It's just not a tool I really find myself using very much, but it did a really nice job of getting this down to the angle it needed, which is needed to be, which is 50 degrees. Um, I, I finished it off with a smooth plane. I got it down to nearly, nearly the completed level. Uh, what you're seeing here's the real thing I want to talk about. First thing is, if I get down here. This, this adjustment screw, that's probably the most critical um, measurements, critical where you need to be absolutely perpendicular to the plane if you want it to adjust smoothly. You could probably tell that it's, it's actually off a touch. I mean, it's adjusting smoothly enough. I, do, I haven't put any um, lubricant on on the you know, so-called frog of the plane. Yeah, I, I saw a video. A, 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 somebody read my blog post a comment about a video on making this plane, and he suggested using a pencil just to use the graphite of the pencil as a lubricant rather than wax or or um, oil or anything like that. These these hold down bars, um, they adjust smoothly enough. Sorry, sorry about my camera work here. But what took me longest was actually just what I just finished, and it was believe it or not attaching the handles. The problem is, and I'm I I don't know this for certain, but I'm sure people have run into it. Is I guess for simplicity's sake, the kit. All of the, one side has a wood thread, the other side has a machine thread. All of these um, bolts, if you want to call them that, are the same size, the same, and, uh, the, I, and I, once again, I'm assuming Paul Sellers did that for simplicity's sake, where you're not buying all these different measure, different size, different lengths of, of hardware. You can just go to a hardware store and pay, if you didn't want to buy the kit that is. The problem is these are probably, now my, before I say anything else, I want to preface, my, this plane is basically the exact measurements of Seller's plane in terms of length and thickness, and width for that matter. The shaping's a little bit different. I'm, I still have ways to go on that. Um, but the bolts, or, or the, the, the lag slash machine screws are too long for the handles. They need to, the, the the issue being you can see here, and I'll show you what I'll tell you what happened. The issue being that the tolerance from the where you need to install it to the base of the 
of, of the of the plane is about a sixteenth of an inch, which I was that you that's not a, that's not difficult, but what happened was the, the these towers here for for each handle they when, once you start getting down into the um, the drill out where you drill it out they want to start turning the the, the legs and that's exactly what happened and they came through they popped through luckily not very much but what I ended up doing was instead of getting really frustrated which I started to do I removed both of them and I sawed off with a hacksaw the point of the of the lag and about a quarter inch off of each of the machine side and that made all the difference and if you're making this plane especially if you're using stock uh, knobs, which I did, I just purchased these from Rockler. If you're making this plane, I would highly recommend doing that, unless your knobs are really tall, um, which, you know, they're tall like that knob would be, which would probably be easier, but uh, once again, I, I was going basically by seller's recommendations, um, only for saving money. These knobs, I guess if you purchased real plane knobs, you'd probably be in at twenty dollars a knob or maybe more i paid for this set of maple knobs they were they were i think including tax and shipping it was maybe fifteen dollars or something like that otherwise i do have to the other thing i have to do yet is right here i have to make sure that now that will adjust all the way up but i should rasp that out or something to that effect and soften up the edge here uh, I'm sorry, I'm moving all over the place. Soften up this edge. It really needs to be sanded. These spots here are machine oil. I was attempting anything I could, wax machine oil, to get these things to seat nicely. And they're solid now. But I still have a ways to go in, in the sense that I do need to sharpen the iron yet. It is pretty sharp, actually. And I do need to cut out that recess and do some sanding and chamfering that those type of things but right now the plane is virtually ready to go so hopefully within the next few days i will um, get a chance to start working on that get it cleaned up i'm not going to put any on a probably just going to use linseed oil and wax which is what i would use on most tools and i'm not i'm debating whether i should linseed oil the base or just wax it. i'm still I'm going to do a little bit of research and see what the, the powers that be think, the guys who are really good at making planes and they know what they're talking about, I'm going to see what they say. But otherwise, yeah, the plane is virtually done. It's certainly not as refined as Sellers is. At the same time, I mean, he made dozens of them. I made one. So for my first attempt, it's not too bad. So hopefully I'll get back to you guys maybe by the end of this week and um, we'll have a plane that's working and I'll see, I'll put it to the test, see if it works as well as a regular, as my Lee Nielsen plane over here. And I'm hoping it does. It did take me a few hours to get this together, so I hope it was all worthwhile. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.